Hello guys, this is Ray, and that's my hand right there. I am going to do a review on Kylie Jenner's official app. It is actually kind of the same as her other sister's app like Chloe, Courtney, Kendall, and Kim. But it is different at some point. Yes. So she is the youngest of them all and I think it's kind of cool to know more about her and her stuff. And yes guys, I'm so sorry for my phone. The screen is really disgusting. But let's start. Just opening my phone there. <laughs> okay, as you can see, her thumbnail of her app, it has a black background with a turquoise or aqua embellishment of her name. And as you open it, you can see her new post. And yes, I already subscribed for one month. And it is actually $2.99, um, approximately 150 pesos here in the Philippines. And... Yeah. Then, if you long press on a certain post, you will see that. You can favorite a thing, save it to my favorites, and then message, mail, and then Facebook and Twitter. You can share it on social media. So, let go to the content. So, you just have to swipe down. Yeah, swipe down for that, and you'll see radio, glam, looks, life, and my favorite. So I'm going to play the radio. And do an awkward dance with my hand. Yeah, I'm awkward. The nice thing about Kylie Radio is that it offers good music. And also, if you want to buy a specific song, just press buy at that area, yes, and it will proceed to iTunes. Wait for it because my internet is really slow. So, yeah, there, it's only 99 cents per song. It depends on the song, actually. So, yeah, thumbs up for that. I really like it, and yes. But the only thing is that it only plays when Wi-Fi is available and you can save the music or the song on my favorites area or content. So the next thing would be the glam area. So I'm going to press that. And yeah. So it is about the lip kits, the lip glosses, the metallics. And it also has some makeup videos, skincare, nails, hair, and extension. Like, for example, this one. This is a makeup video of hers. So, not her, but her makeup artist. And I really like that. I'm attempting to make a heart formation on my hands, but I think I failed. And yeah, that's her video right there. So, moving on to the next post under the glam content. So, the festival skin sur survivor, savers, I mean. So, it offers the skincare that she uses or she suggests. So, it has here the Kiehl's moisturizer and it also has the price of that certain moisturizer. Oh, sorry. Okay, and then the next would be the Tom Ford body oil. And it also has a price below, which is expensive. It's Tom Ford, oh my gosh. The thing about this is that it is the suggestion of hers, or her skincare that she uses, with the exact product and with the exact prices. And if you press that, it will proceed you to an online service where you can buy that under Kylie's app. And also, not everything in here is expensive. Like, for example, this Tom Ford, uh, which is really expensive. And the other one is from Mario Badesco. Yeah, so not everything is expensive, and that's nice. To the next feature which is the looks wherein it has her OOTD OOTN to a certain event and yeah like for example this one shop a selfie Puma Pride so it has her exact 
um, exact, exact clothing and also it has price and if you press it just like the glam area or if you press it it will proceed to a online service and you can buy it online and not only that but it also offers you a suggestion on a cheaper price okay so on to the next post so that is the need wherein it says their shorts a shout out is that weird that I'm scrolling back and forth into the okay that is weird but yeah it doesn't only offer shorts so it has tips on clothing shoes purses sunglasses and it also has the prices in there and yes not only that but it also has the announcements of their clothing line so yeah like Poxon the thing is, it is not available here in the Philippines or to where I live, but I could still buy it through online, so... Another problem is, I don't have that much money to buy those things, so yeah, I'm just gonna, you know, stay at home. <laughs> yeah. Okay guys, so it just crashed, so I turned off my cell phone and then turn it on back again it's because it doesn't work if i don't turn it off and that's the worst i i hate when it crashed the live content so l y f e why is it spelled like that that is wrong well for me so it consists of that thing and then IG Saturday and it also has her fan arts from her fans or her followers and some of her followers are really creative and I like their art or arts and yeah another thing is the temperature wherein you know more about her about the things that she ate last her favorite sister or the last sister she snapchat so basically the temperature is all about her behind the scenes so it also has my first and her faves or favorites and my firsts so yeah also it has the hashtag throwback thursday her throwback pictures when she was younger and also gift guides dogs about her dogs and it has a video cooking with kylie and yeah okay now for the last contents which is the my favorites So I only saved a lot of her videos or makeup videos because I really like it and that's the things that are my favorites, her makeup videos and I learn about makeup tips and techniques and stuff so yeah it's nice. Okay so that's basically it, um, yeah. So as you can see on the down portion of the app, you can see there the search bar. You can search anything you want or type in the things that you want to see and not be scrolling on a certain content. And generally, the app is cool. Yes, I like it, especially the glam area since there are videos on how to make her makeup. And also the tips and tricks or the techniques that the makeup artist or her makeup artist use is really helpful. The looks is not that good, but the glam is really good. Thumbs up for that as well as for the radio. The looks is maybe 50-50. The life is kind of good. And then my favorites is really good. I really like the my favorites because I can save stuff in there. To further expound my opinion about this app is that the radio is cool, I love the genre, the glam is really helpful if you like makeup like me, 
Then the looks is... I don't care much about the looks area since I can't afford it, honestly. And some looks are not my style, but they're pretty cool and it suits her. And yeah. Another thing is that for the life, um, you'll know more about her and about her busy elite life. And I think that is maybe cool for others and then for the my favorites it is good since i could just save some of the posts that she has and not be scrolling the whole day just to find that certain article okay so i was kind of redundant there but that's okay okay so for the cons um it is actually not that convenient since it needs internet i will open this app if internet is available like for example when i'm at their house or at home or at a place where wi-fi is available and that's no good and also sometimes it will crash especially if i i press that favorite button then it will just crash and i hate it when that happens since i have to restart my phone again and the last thing is that since the Kylie Glam videos or videos in general are what I'm after, um, I think that after I know or watch those things, um, it is not that exciting anymore. And still waiting for other videos or helpful tips that she will post. And yeah, I think that's all. And I would recommend this if you are a fan of her. And in general, if you don't like the Kardashians and don't subscribe to this app or don't upload, not upload, download this app. So, yeah. So, I think it's time to end this video. And, yeah. Bye, guys. And see you on the next video. And that's my hand right there with a weird gesture. Ew.